it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing? I have a few Christmas cards that um, I'd like to share with you. Um, okay, this is my second attempt. <laughs> I was having some technical difficulties. This is from Clarita from California. She's from San Landino, Clarita Woods, California. And the card says, may you be blessed with trimmings and treasures of a beautiful Christmas season. Thank you so much. She says, happy holidays, your yarny friend, Clarita. And there is a little personal note. I am not going to share that with everybody. Um, let's see. There are some that have... Okay, here we go. Some are from family. <laughs> so... Got to weed through that. It's okay. Okay, this one is from... Uh, this is from family. This is the second card from her. Oh. Aunt Lucy sent us two cards. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's next? Next is Crystal Roy. From... Now, I just had my glasses, and I knocked them on the floor. Wait a second. Here they are. Crystal Ray from Southington, Connecticut. I can't show you the front, but the front's really cute, too. Ooh, this is a pretty card. Season's greetings. Hey, Crystal. I haven't heard from her in a long time. Oh, my goodness. She was in uh, Sarasota. I met her in Sarasota. She has beautiful dogs, and one's named Avalanche, Blizzard, and Glacier. Wishing you and your loved ones a peace, health, happiness, and prosperity in the coming new year. Oh, and look at the puppy paw. I love it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Those are her babies. Thank you, Crystal. Miss you. This is from Anita. I can't stop showing the fronts. I want to share addresses. Well, Snoopy. <laughs> oh, so cute. It doesn't open. Or does it? Yes, it does. Hoping you and your family have a wonderful season. Wishes your holiday decorated with merry moments and happy memories. Anita and Miko. Thank you, Anita. Here's another card from Bean Station, Tennessee. And it says, Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Have y'all seen my shirt? It's the Lab Squad. <coughs> Is that not cute? I got that from Anita. Oh my gosh. Merry and Happy New Year. Love Janelle. Oh, Janelle. I love that. Okay, we got to frame this one. I love that. Oh my goodness. I can never find cool stuff like that. Elaine Pudden. Elaine Brown, she's from Springfield, Massachusetts. Hey, Elaine. She's one of my Zoom sisters. Very cozy. Wish you a heartwarming season of joy. Merry Christmas. Aww. She's also known as Pudding. Pudding. Merry Christmas. This is from Nina. Our, our Nina's um, Knott's Crochet. I can't show you this. Wait, I can't look. She's got a Labrador. Y'all, I'm having a, a hot flash. <laughs> is that not beautiful? That is so beautiful. 
wishing you all the peace and beautiful beauty this Christmas season brings. Your yarny friend, Lynn Ann, Nina Snots Crochet. Thank you, Lynn Ann. Look at that. What a beautiful card. Where is she? I need to look into where they got these cards that some of them are marked. This is from Glen Ellen, Illinois. <laughs> Llama Love. That is so cute. We got to save it. There we go. Merry Christmas. Nancy Hubby and Fur Baby, sending you warm wishes for a bright and wonderful Christmas. Love your yarny friend, B. Thank you, B. She really said, B's Crafty Corner. She's got a channel. It's at B's, B-E-E-S, Crafty Corner. Thank you. She had a really sweet note in here. Merry Christmas to you. And this is from Sue Romanelli out of Junction City. Is that Kansas? I don't know if that's a K or a K-A. Kansas, yeah, it's Kansas. Sorry, I'm getting these out, these up late. I, I haven't had these long. Happy holidays, they were in my box. Sending warm wishes for a happy holiday season, Susan Romanelli. Thank you, Susan. Merry Christmas. I really appreciate all these cards. You guys, this year I'm a really big slacker, but I have, I ordered cards. We had some issues. It was a mess. So, peace on earth. Let us rejoice in his life, believe in his love, and celebrate his promise this Christmas and always. Amen, sister. From Kathy Goodian. Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year's. That is a beautiful card. Beautiful. Um, it's cold outside. I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I think I've shown everything else. I, I've made a point not to open things with, unless I'm going to show them. Yeah, I've shown these already. Just want to make sure there's one more I gotta go get my husband just handed me he just got from the post office box um, a lot of these are from the boggy Creek boxes tis the season is that not stinking cute <laughs> Wendy Schmidt <laughs> Merry Christmas all right hang on I got one more card I gotta go grab has been handed it to me. He needs to leave them on the counters. Is it there? Oh, here it is. I knew one thing. Our postal, I don't know if our post postal lady's on vacation, but I've gotten two packages with a totally different address, totally different name. Yeah. Two in the past week, maybe week and a half. That's not good. <laughs> so, anyways, this is from Tara Lynn, and I tore the last name. Sulo, Sulo out of Hamilton, New Jersey. Merry Christmas. Is that not pretty? Aww. I hope you
you don't mind, look. She sent me a picture of her, her and her little baby, her little fur baby. I love it. All right, so Tara Lynn is currently finishing up her last two Boggy Creek blankets. Got to get them in the mail. If not, I'm going to have to, we're leaving on, I'm going to be leaving on the 5th, but I'll swing by the post office to get one more round. But her dog's name is, let's see, videos, color green, two more. Okay, love your crochet friend here. And my rescue chihuahua dog, Zoe. I like that name, Zoe. She's so sweet. She looks sweet. Thank you. I love that. Merry Christmas. All right. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all these cards. And I am going to do my best to respond to all of these. I, um... It's just been one of those years where the cards that I ordered did not come in. Oh, it's a mess for my business and on my personal. So, but I guess what I do, ha well, I have a couple. I showed you my two finished objects, uh, knitted objects yesterday. These two head warmers, ear warmers. But I made one more. Isn't that pretty? And that is Woolies, and it's a um, yarn bee clearance yarn. Um, I don't know where the ball band is, but isn't that, it's, it's something fuzzy and crazy and wild. Oh, wait, here, here's another scheme. It's called Soft Illusion Super Bulky Orchid Fantasy. Isn't that not crazy? And I also have it in that color. It's 65 acrylic, 35 polymide, 115 grams, 87 yards. But I didn't really use that much of it, but yeah, I knitted it. My casting off, what am I doing wrong? It's, I don't know, I need to, I need to look up casting off. It seems like it's wider than this. I work so hard to do a nice band, and then when I cast off, it like it's stretched out. I don't know. I know I can shrink it a little bit, uh -oh. but I'm still learning. I mean, this one came out perfect. So what's up with the others? Even this one was kind of stretched out. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing um, I'm doing uh. Double crochet, and then I'm pulling it through, grabbing the the stitch behind it and pulling it through, and then double crochet, pulling it through. That's the only way I know how to cast off. Maybe there's another way. I'll have to figure it out, watch some videos, ask some yarny friends. So, but that's all. And then the blanket behind me, that's going to Boggy Creek. I'm done with that one. But, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Hold on. I haven't sewn the ends in because I hate sewing in ends. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Look at the trim. Is that not beautiful? That is that ice yarn. It, all the colors in it. Isn't that funny how that worked out perfect? And how the colors match perfect? So, I was excited about that. So, this is done other than sewing in the ends. I hate ends. Okay. Um, real quick, before I show you my... My yarn haul. I have a yarn haul. Let me show you my scraps of love from Lynette for today. And yesterday's was a pretty purple, and I have not done anything with it yet. Just haven't had time. And oh, tomorrow, y'all, I am meeting Lynette. 
at Cracker Barrel in Gainesville off of I-75 at noon tomorrow. If anybody wants to meet us out front, we'll be out there. I'm going to pick up boggy blankets. So I'm sorry it's quick notice, but Lenny Ann's going to have surgery. And last time I met her, some people were upset. So I kind of mentioned it yesterday, but we're definitely meeting tomorrow at noon in Gainesville. So that's today's color. Pretty. It's like a mauve. A number four is very pretty. It's not quite as bright as it looks. So, but yeah. Yesterday was a real pretty purple. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. So, I got a few. Um, I'm a little behind because I'm playing with other things. And my husband wants me to make him a poncho last minute. I've got a blanket, that blanket with the hush yarn. He goes, is there any way you can cut a hole in the middle of this? I'm like, no, I'll make you a poncho. He wants me to make him a poncho out of that yarn. So we're going to have to, I don't know if I have enough. I've got enough gray and I think I have like an olive green. I don't know. I'm going to try to add a couple little colors, not just make it just a flat I don't have but one one cake of the cream so it's kind of a discontinued I think yarn so but he loves that yarn he says it's so heavy and nice it's like a hug so yeah so that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to get all this done before the new year so I'm gonna be crocheting my little butt off because I have plans for the new year and I am not wavering all right, you ready for the yarn haul? I think that I got I showed everything else. This is going to be kind of a long video. And it's not a huge haul. You can thank Lynn Ann for this. Mary Maxim, you know what I ordered. Yes, I did. She kept talking about it. She kept talking about it. I ignored her a couple times. And she kept talking about it. She's still talking about it. <laughs> the Mona Lisa. <laughs> So guess what I did? So I want to feel this. I've been dying. I've never touched this yarn before. I don't think. I've heard of Nako, but I don't, not the Mona Lisa, I don't think. Yeah, baby. Oh, yes, it is soft. Oh, I wonder how it is to work with. I got every color I could get. This is color, oh, they're numbers, darn, 98237, but it's a beautiful color. It's kind of a, it's like a, a burnt red, but it's very subtle. It's not as bright as it looks. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. It's it's beautiful. And it is very soft. Thanks, Lenin. I'm not the only enabler in the world, so I got a bag of five. They're two bucks a piece. Under two bucks. I got a bag of gray. And it's it's not a heavy yarn, but it's a nice yarn. It's a number four. Right? I would say it's a number four or a light number four. I don't think it's a three, but it could be. And then I got black. I got two bags of black. What was I planning on making? I wish I could remember. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's a rich burgundy. Look at that. I gotta open it. Everybody knows what black and gray looks like, but look at this. I would make my husband a poncho out of this, but he wants me to make it out of that hush yarn. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Smells like yarn. It is really soft. So. 
I need to ask Lynanne some questions tomorrow about this, how it washes and does it pill. Because I think she's made a couple wearables out of it. I think she made a cardigan. And she likes Tunisian. And here's a little, I guess I ordered six. I don't know why I have one little black one in a package. And then I've got 10. Yeah, 10, 11. Why I would order 11. That's weird. But um, I probably ordered six of everything because that's every color I've ordered. Not counting the black. There's burgundy, teal, red, and then that burnt, that burnt color. So I got two packs of everything. Pack of red. Pack of teal. Shoot. And I got white. I always get white. Wow. And I was also really naughty. Thanks to Angela. I ordered some more um, of that baby yarn. I love that baby yarn to make more blankets. Because I want to make a couple more baby blankets. So, but, yep, that is all I have. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I will try to do vlogs every day. Um, I'm going to try until y'all get sick of me. <laughs> as long as I have something to talk about, and I always have something to talk about, right? If I don't, Marley has something to talk about, right? <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Um... I want to wish everybody a, I want to thank everybody for all those beautiful cards. I really appreciate all those cards. I'm sorry I, they didn't get here before Christmas. Some of them, I mean, all of them got here after Christmas. Um, but they've been here a couple days. I'm just now getting to read them today. Um, but I, I really appreciate that. I appreciate all of you guys. And I hope everybody has a happy new year. I hope everybody um, sticks around and puts up with me. I, um, I look forward to a fun year. Uh, I've got a one year anniversary coming up, uh, New Year's. I, I have done a live for the past two years I, on New Year's Eve. So I'll probably do another live, I'm hoping. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I get really nervous with the lives. I don't know why, but I do. Um, just anxious. So, worried nobody's going to show up. So, and these days, they call them the YouTube streets are really busy. You know, um, a lot of people do lives, and I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but it is my anniversary, so I'm probably going to do a live but I'm not going to guarantee it. But um, hopefully I'll get these in sewed in. I finished my last headband. Um, now I want to make scarves for them. I just love, I love knitting. And I put it aside for Boggy Creek. Because I'm not fast enough to, to knit blankets. So I can't wait to start, start knitting the sweaters. Um. Actually, I'm getting pretty good at it. I, I wanted to make sure that I could do them without dropping. I haven't dropped any stitches. My only issue now is casting off. That's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something different. I don't realize it. I need to, a refresher YouTube video. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to get off of here. I love you guys again. Thank you, everyone. Welcome all new subscribers. I thank all returning subscribers. I thank everybody for supporting Boggy Creek. And get your blankets in. And I have a giveaway. Um, I'm giving away uh, Sophie's Universe book. Um, there's a video. There's a couple videos back. Um, just type in the word Sophie's in the comments. And you will. Um, you could possibly win a free book and I may surprise you guys with a second book.
So we'll see. Okay. All right. I love you all. Mwah. Have a wonderful evening. It's late. <laughs> Bye.